Welcome to the Goldman Sachs Excel Skill for Business Virtual Internship Task 2. In this task, you need to fill up the cells with the assumptions given. It's a relatively simple task, as you just need to fill out the values in the Excel file. Key assumptions are given on the right side of the sheet. For example, for FY20E, cupcake expected volume is 100,000 with an average sale price of $4 per unit. For FY21E onward, they expect it to grow at 10% per year. For each year thereafter, the growth rate will be 1% lower than the previous year's growth rate. For average price per unit from 2021, it grow at a rate of 4% per year. To calculate volume for 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, multiply the previous cell with values 1.1, 1.9, 1.08, 1.07, 1 respectively. Copy the blue cells of cupcakes for ice cream and drinks. As the, the growth rate is same for the ice cream and drinks, just change the volumes and average price of ice cream and drinks in the cell 2020, and it will automatically calculate the volume and average price from 2021 onward. For ice cream, management believes for FY20E, they expect volumes of 60,000 and an average sale price of $3 per unit. For drinks, Management believes for FY20E, they expect volumes of 50,000 and an average sale price of $2.50 per unit. For cupcakes, for FY20E, COGS per unit will be $1.50. For ice cream, for FY20E, COGS per unit will be 80s. For drinks, COGS per unit will be tens. For the following years, assume COGS per unit grows at 2% per annum for cupcakes, ice cream, and drinks. For FY20E, management expects staff costs of $150,000, occupancy costs of $60,000, marketing costs of $10,000, and other costs of $5,000. All costs are expected to grow at 5% per year, except for occupancy costs at 3% per year. Management believes for FY20E, DNA will be minus 5% of revenue. For the following years, assume this figure falls by 0.25% per annum.
For CAPEX, fill out the DNA percentages of revenue for each year. For change in NWC, assume minus 1% of revenue for each year. For dividend payout ratio, assume 60% per year. For tax rate, assume 21% for all years. For interest rates, assume a 4% rate on debt and a 1% rate on cash. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.